In this section, we're going to be beginning to talk about object properties. The object properties window is found here. In order to use it, we're going to need an object to give some properties to. So here's our box. I click my object properties window. I'll explain this from the top down. There are two different pages of this window, object and material. On the object page, here it tells you the type, poly surface, the name. We can give a name to our object if we like. I'll name it box. The layer. It starts on the default layer. We can add more layers and we'll be explaining layers uh, a little bit later. Color. I can select some basic colors here or I can choose by layer or other. If I select red, you'll notice that nothing changes until I use my shaded preview. And then instead of being gray, it's red. ISO curve density. This is the complexity of the wireframe. Take a look. When I increase this, you can see the wireframe increasing in complexity. Show surface ISO curve is currently checked. If I uncheck that, you'll see we have a simple outline. Match allows me to match object properties across either layer, surface, isocurve density, or color. And then details. This is all the fine print for our box. Render mesh, edge tally, geometry, render material, etc. You can copy or save this. The material page, layer, plugin, basic, where we can choose color. Material name, bump, texture map, transparency settings. We can put a gloss finish on it, either metallic or plastic. And then we have our match options here again.